everybody, my name is Kirby Kwan Jr. Clearly I'm not dressing up as the part right now, but today I will be talking about my custom completed Scar LCQC prop for cosplay and filmmaking. So for context, this is actually a plastic airsoft springer. I actually shot a whole video about this before I painted it up or do anything or added anything to it. And you can find that in the corner right there or just searching up in the channel. So I took that airsoft springer and I painted it up to look fairly realistic and I added some replica accessories. For all intents and purposes, this is basically just just a plastic replica of a Scar L with an EOTech uh, EXPS, I believe, um, a PEC-15, as well as a Magpul AFG-1. And we'll talk about the suppressor later. So the first thing I did to this prop was I actually removed all of the rails. They were just held in there by screws and I just detached that. And of course I detached the magazine as well. And the first thing I did was I uh, masked up as much as I could that was going to be left in black. Uh, it was mostly just the front here with the whole piston and the the, the sights and everything, um, as well as the uh, butt plate of the stock, as well as a few buttons here on the stock as well. After that, I applied two very thin coats of gray primer onto the entire prop, uh, with exception to the magazine. I actually did not do anything to this. It's still the stock color. Proceeding that to turn a clear gun into a tan gun, of course you would have to paint it tan. So for that I actually used a Rust-Oleum camouflage khaki. I believe this was three coats of that and its natural color is actually this shade of FDE or tan in this case. Of course, as I just mentioned, there are different shades of FDE in this case, but before I even got to the shading process, I actually went ahead and painted the grip black. And there is a reason for that, which I'll get into later. In regards to the shading process, it was fairly simple. All I did was I applied um, a few coats of the testers acrylic wash and worked it in with a brush as well as a paper towel or maybe I used tissues. I think I used tissues so that I could prevent it from having any textures. And when all was said and done, I finally went into the more finer details by depicting everything in black. And uh, after that, I think I hit this with about three or four coats of clear matte finish. And here we are today. Went ahead and added the plastic replica EOTech uh, PEC-15 and the Magpul AFG-1 replica. Um, these two, of course, don't function. This technically does offer the red dot, but it's so inconsistent. Sometimes it's very bright, sometimes it's very dim, so it's not dependable. And also just the, the faux glass that they put in here, the plexiglass or plastic, it's just, it blurs the image, so it doesn't work. Um, this is obviously just a battery case, but this is a Springer, so there's no batteries in here. It doesn't illuminate or anything. The um, the foregrip actually does work. It, it feels very substantial, and the, there's no flashing on it. So I guess, if anything, the 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 uh, the, the foregrip works. Um, and I did mention this uh, suppressor, so I guess I'll talk about it now. Um, for the purposes of having this being con safe, you should never have like a realistic tip. So I actually have the stock orange tip and I went ahead and just uh, masked it when I was painting it. Um, so as far as this suppressor, because this, this doesn't actually have any threads on it, it's actually just a very flexible foam grip and it already had this matte finish to it. So all you do is you just slide it in and you're good. <laughs> Um, it looks the part and that's all that matters in this case um, and technically it does protect the muzzle too from any impacts uh, in transportation so I'm glad I did that. Now in regards to the color scheme of this thing I kept it fairly realistic. The problem with the scars is that there's like multiple different shades of flat dark earth um, but the general rules that I found was um, that I discovered more so and in, in my opinion that I've noticed is the upper receiver is brighter than the rest of the gun. But in regards to as to why I decided to paint the grip black, despite the fact that it looks like a stock grip, it's because of this guy's stunt double. So this is a stunt double. I know that they will look very similar, but I show you they're two different things. This is, uh, or at least was a gel ball shooter. Um, and basically I took out the battery and gutted it and everything. Uh, and I painted it up to look very similar to that. Actually, I lied. This one I did first before I did the actual Scar L. This is modeled after a Scar H, you could tell mostly with the magazine, with an ACR stock and some kind of rail extension. Now this one actually was a tan toy, so I didn't actually need to hit it with the FD or nothing, but I did have to do so for this um, cheek piece on the stock so that they could match a little bit better. I went ahead and used the same suppressor method or mock suppressor method, so it's still that same foamy um, grip you, <laughs> that looks like a suppressor. And this scope actually did come with this particular toy. I have considered maybe buying extra accessories to kind of match them up even closer. 
here. But um, I figured this is definitely good for now. So the reason as to why I even have a stunt double is that piece is one to one. This is tremendously undersized. It's uh, the same size in length at least as the other one. As you can see when I hold them up like this. So in hand, like when you're walking with it, it feels about the same. Of course, the stock is extremely short and the control group is also right up against you. So it does feel a little bit weird. But in the event that that fails, I will use this to fill the role at a convention. And this too also has an orange tip. So this is pretty much all set and all ready to go. And squeaky. Fun. But I suppose if I wanted to be a fool, I could like do wield freaking battle rifles and assault rifles and just shoot mans up and shit. But yeah, all in all, this repaint took about two days, really just one day of actual work. It was mostly waiting times, but about a day or two of work and you can get something very similar to this for a pretty low cost. So I'm very happy with the way that this turned out and um, I'll probably be using this for a few upcoming cosplays. But that'll be it for me today. My name is Kirby Kwan Jr. Feel free to follow me on multiple platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Kirby Kwan Jr. That's K-I-R-B-Y K-W-A-N-J-R. Also, subscribe to my other channel that I help manage, the RU Cosplay channel, which will be linked right up here. And of course, if there's any questions or comments, you could go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and hope everybody has a good day. Take care.